What's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here jumping in with a uh, quick earthquake update on a earthquake coming into the uh, California region near Donner Summit. Of course, this earthquake activity taking place near the Antelope Valley. This is a pretty significant aftershock uh, coming into that region of the uh, Antelope Valley area where that 6.0 struck uh, quite a few days ago. You can see it showing up on numerous stations there in the California region. Go ahead and check out some of this earthquake activity uh, that is taking place there in the California region. You can see that 4.1 earthquake. That's a pretty significant aftershock. When we see significant aftershocks, uh, it's, it's time to pay attention, right? I already said this in my update video that we need to pay attention to the, uh, the uh, earthquake activity that's taking place. It looks as though they may have downgraded it to a 3.9 earthquake as I'm speaking, but still, that's a pretty significant earthquake that has taken place. Let's go ahead and check out the last seven days, uh, 2.5 and above. Uh, pretty good size aftershock sequence um, compared to the, well, lots of twos, right? Lots of twos. So um, I can't say if this is the, uh, definitely not the largest one, right? We've seen a 5.2 aftershock since then, uh, since the main quake, the six pointer that struck, but no doubt uh, seismic activity has been on the increase over the last 24 hours. We kind of explained that in the update video. Uh, and this 3.9 kind of tops the cake within that region. But if you, bro if, if you back out on the larger picture, seismic increase on the whole North American continent, at least in the States here, I mean, there's obviously activity going on up here, but USGS being the uh, only a 4.0 and above register does not pick up anything below that. So the seismic increase activity along the Rocky Mountains or at least along the Intermountain West region is increasing. Southern California all throughout the Pacific Northwest increasing in seismic activity. So be on guard uh, for potential further movement out there along the uh, North American continent. That includes me. I'm taking heed for sure because no doubt last time I, I felt that six pointer um, that it doesn't really worry me about that area. The, the area that worries me is the Cascadia subduction zone and the major deep movement that's taking place up here along the Seattle area. We're seeing a lot of subduction uh, quakes happening uh, way, way downstream. Look at this. Look at these earthquakes. 29 kilometers below surface. This is San Juan, or the uh, Juan de Fuca plate uh, sliding down underneath the North American plate, creating these surface ruptures. The tremor activity shows us this on the uh, movement. This is the tremor activity along the Pacific Northwest of the Cascadia. Vancouver Island there. You got the eastward movement, the subduction underneath the North American plate, creating these surface quakes. Well, it's not really surface. 25, 30, 30 kilometers is not surface, but there's a whole lot of pressure, a whole lot of movement taking place here in the Pacific Northwest, the entire uh, Western part of the North American plate. So be on guard folks uh, for now. Uh, four point, uh, I think it was a 4.2 originally, now downgraded to a 3.9 in the Antelope Valley area. USGS has this listed uh, 28 kilometers south southwest of Smith Valley, Nevada, the California side, obviously USGS. Um, they're in the Antelope Valley area, the Walker Lane area. Uh, well, the soon to be the, uh, the the new Pacific coastline. Well, in about seven or nine million years or so, but uh, there's no doubt that's going to take place, or at least the scientists and the geologists think that that will take place. Uh, within that time frame when it comes to uh, the plate tectonics out there. Things are always changing, but uh, for now, a lot of movement, folks. Be prepared. Stay safe out there, and we will chat you a little bit later.